more hoops action tonight. College basketball in the Pacific Northwest as Washington State welcomes in Montana to Beasley Coliseum on this Friday night. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. Trevor Williams with you and so glad to have you with us for another night of college basketball. And this should be a good one for Washington State and Montana. For the Cougars, another great mid-major matchup tonight against Montana. On Monday, they face South Dakota State, who won the WNIT a year ago. Cougs had a slow start from the floor in the first quarter, but turned it up in the second period, holding South Dakota State to just three points, which all came from the free throw line. That was a program record for Washington State, holding the Jacks without a field goal in that second period. And then the great defense continued into the second half. Cougars with takeaways, scores in transition like this through uh, Ledger Walker over to Wallach and Washington State rolls to the 20-point victory. You see Ioana Tedder with the 17 points, a season high. Montana comes in led by a former Washington State associate head coach, Brian Holsinger. He spent eight years working with June Doherty on the Palouse, and he is back now with this Lady Grizz team that can be mighty tough. They have some nice interior play, and he also sports a star guard in Gina Markson, who spent three years of her college career in the Inland Northwest at Idaho in one appearance against Washington State. She hit three threes and scored 11 points. It's the Lady Grizz and the Cougars coming up tonight from Beasley Coliseum. Our lineup's opening tip are next on Pac-12+. Plus. Good Friday night hoops coming to you tonight from Pullman, Washington, Washington State and Montana. Glad to have you with us here tonight. Cougs getting ready. Good crowd on hand tonight on this Friday night. And we'll talk about it. Montana has six players on its roster from the state of Washington. One from nearby Colfax. Cougar band settling in. Washington State five and one on the season. Montana coming in two and four, but they've played a tough stretch to start the year. Montana's, Montana's opponents in the first six games were a combined 24 and seven. And they're starting a stretch here against WSU, Grand Canyon, South Dakota, and Gonzaga. And these next four opponents for Montana have a combined record of 20 and six. So it doesn't get any easier for the Lady Grizz. Well, America Tete will win the opening tip for Washington State. Starters on the floor for the Grizzlies. Haley Heward, the daughter of, yes, Brock Heward. The Cougar fans know of him well. America Tete in the post. And missed that early lay-in, pulled down by Carmen G. Feller, who's from Colfax, that player we mentioned. Into the post, quick transition the other way. That came down to Keeley Burton Oliver for the first points of the Knights. Sammy Fatkin, a fifth year senior with the assist there in the quick outlet and up for Montana. Charlize Ledger Walker trying to work it for Washington State. Cougars starting five features the Pac-12 Phenom in Ledger Walker. Joanna Tedder dropping it off to Bella America Tete. And Tedder showing it's more than a scoring affair of late. She's been in double figures her last three games, but bounces the beautiful pass there to Mirka Tete. A three out from G. Feller. And Carmen G. Feller right away nails a triple. Had only played 26 minutes this year coming in. One game against Wichita State. That was just the third three-pointer taken this year by G. Feller. She's now two of three to start the season. Wallach into the post. Ledger Walker trying to work against Markson. And pulled down by Fatkin. Here comes Montana. Fatkin in transition. Blows past Ledger Walker for the lay-in. Fatkin hit a couple threes last time out. Has been working in transition for Montana here in the early going tonight. Tara Wallach. Cougars facing a man defense in the early going. Ledger Walker will pull the trigger on a three, and Charlize hits her 12th three-pointer of the season. She's averaging 20 and a half points per game, good for second most in the Pac-12. And gets the Cougars back within two here in this opening quarter. Straight on for Burton Oliver. 
And Keeley Burton Oliver has five of the opening 10 for Montana. Good shooting start for the Lady Grizz, four of four from the field, and they've hit a couple threes. Murica Tete lengthening it out, and she's got Washington State's third make. Good shooting early here for these two teams, and a welcome sign for Montana. Had cold starts in the first and second half last time out against the Pac-12's California Golden Bears. Montana went two for 16 to start that game and then one for 17 to start the second half. And the Grizz can't miss here in the opening quarter. Burton Oliver again with seven of these early points for Montana. Comes in averaging just seven per game. Marika Tete, easy post move around Burton Oliver and six points early, the two posts Going punch for punch here in the opening minutes in Pullman. Markson at the controls, a transfer to Montana from Idaho. Played three seasons just nine miles away here from Beasley Coliseum. Cougs on the takeaway, front court with Merica Tete. And G. Feller takes away the bounce pass intended for Ledger Walker. Markson has numbers the other way, takes it herself. G. Feller trying to stay with it. And it'll be Cougar basketball. First sub in this up and down game, Lisa Kiefer for Montana. See Wallach there, the sophomore for Washington State who's averaging just under 12 points per game. Has been shooting 50% from the floor in her last four times out for WSU. Cougars have started four of six from the floor. But Montana, perfect five of five. Murica Tete fouled there in the post. Late recovery for Montana on the pass from Tedder. Haley Heward picks up the foul. That is the first foul of the night for either team. Montana brings in Libby Stump. Head coach of the Lady Grizz is Brian Holsinger making a homecoming here to Pullman. Second season as the head coach at Montana. And America Tete makes the first. Holsinger spent eight years as an assistant here at Washington State under June Doherty. Had a sabbatical year and then five seasons at Oregon State on the women's side before taking the head job at Montana. So welcome back to Brian Holsinger to the Palouse. I know he's making his rounds in pregame. His Lady Grizz up by two here in the early minutes. Markson being pressured by Tedder. Tend to shoot. Gets it going, teardrop. Little long, and Merica Tete pulls the rebound. Merica Tete, who's had double doubles in three of the last four games, hauling down a board there. Matuga, the reverse under the cup won't go. Merica Tete trying to keep it alive and does. Over to Ula. Ledger Walker for three, and she's got her second. Coming into the year, ESPN had her as a top 20 player nationally. And showing the distance, the do-it-all guard for Washington State, giving the Cougars a lead. Markson gets the bounce pass, Ledger Walker showing that all-purpose play with the block, and it takes us to our first timeout here tonight in Pullman. Washington State, a 6-0 burst to take a 13-12 lead, and we come back on the Palouse after this. Really good flow to open up this basketball game tonight in Pullman. Charlize Ledger-Walker already has. A couple threes for Washington State and a 6-0 run for the Cougars. Have them out to the early one-point advantage with Montana. Has started five of eight from the floor. Got a little cold after a five of five start for the Lady Grizz. Markson trying to work against Ledger-Walker. A pair of freshmen of the year in their respective conferences and Gina Markson has her first points. Games had really good offensive flow here in the opening minutes. Welcome sign for Washington State as well as Ledger Walker a little long there. Cougs had a slow start earlier this week against South Dakota State, the reigning WNIT champions, but a massive second quarter defensive effort and strong play the rest of the way. Got the Cougars the 20 point win. G Feller with her second bucket. 
That was a win that Cammie Etheridge and Washington State was really proud of on Monday. South Dakota State, a team that beat number four Louisville earlier this season. Tedder looking inside. Wallach turned it around, was pressured. Miracatete still fighting for it, but it comes away to Markson. We'll see Markson get right back to work. Finds G. Feller, and G. Feller the triple. Cammie Etheridge talked about that this week for the Cougs, kind of these blur screens that Montana will run to get action, and that's exactly what they did for G. Feller there. Little foul on the catch for Bella Muratetete. Went against Lisa Kiefer, her first, second team foul. But that's what Montana showed, just kind of that pick and pop action, but instead of the pick being sold and uh, set up there up top, Montana able to just kind of brush it off for G. Feller, get her room for a three. And she has the Grizz on a 7-0 run here over the last minute 15. Muratetete will get a breather for Washington State. Cougars trying to stop this run. Has Montana at its largest lead early. Tedder with a three out of the corner. New check in, Matt Koenig for Montana. Got a screen that time from Burton Oliver. Taken away by Estera Tahina for Washington State. And it comes down to Tara Wallach in transition. Wallet getting her first points, having an outstanding sophomore season, up to 12 points a game. And Tahina, the nice play to get it up floor quickly, the freshman from Kosovo. Koenig down under the basket, looked like it hit the shot clock and came back down. And Burton Oliver fouled on the second try. It's kind of a trick here from the court. It was off the top of the backboard. And Keeley Burton Oliver, who's been busy early, Gets a couple free throws here. Montana still using a lot of subs. Heward back into the game, as is Danny Barch for the first time. Sophomore from Helena, Montana. Burton Oliver already topping her season scoring average in the first seven and a half minutes. And is up to eight points. Good free throw shooter to start the year. Eight of 11. Former 4A state player of the year out of East Lake High School. She played there, won a state title with Haley Heward. Heward then finished her prep career in Colorado. Charlize Ledger Walker, third three-pointer. And took a little contact in the corner as well. So he's got the Cougars back within two. Nice back and forth opening fight here in the opening quarter. Ledger Walker got a paw in. Koenig gets it back and nails the free throw line jumper. Mac Koenig with the bucket. She also prepped on the west side of the state of Washington before finishing her high school career in Ontario. Down to the block, Matuga on the beautiful find from Ledger Walker will get some free throws. Keely Burton Oliver's first foul. Is that kind of the interesting way this game works out tonight? Montana has all of the Pacific Northwest connections. And of course, Washington State, a ton of international flavor. Their fifth year senior here in Matuga, a native of Logan, Australia. It was the leading three point shooter in the Pac 12 last year. Knocked him in at a 47% clip. Tedder will get a break for Sarver. Tuga working here at the free throw line and makes that first free throw. Kind of straightening it out at the line. Started the season three of eight at the stripe. But Matuga gets Washington State back within a pair of points. First points for Ula Matuga tonight. Cougars have four different scores. Nine from Ledger Walker, seven from Mirica Tete. Eight for Burton Oliver and G. Feller, each on the Montana side. Down into the post, the try by Barch. The Cougars come out with the loose ball. Chance to tie or take the lead on this possession. Wallet got a little space under the basket, and the nice reverse 
knots it up here in the opening quarter. Wallach's second bucket has been in double figures three of her last four games. And a foul underneath against Lisa Kiefer trying to establish position on the block. Her second result in a turnover in basketball back to Washington State. Another platoon swap for Montana with Markson Schiefeller back on the floor. And Heward for that matter. Coming up on the closing minute of the opening quarter of play. Tahina setting the offense. Again, Ledger Walker trying to find Matuga. This time, G Feller knocks it loose. Burton Oliver against a couple players pressure, asking for a foul call. The Cougars could have a 10 second call coming here. Only one more second to get it across and it is 10. Pestering defense by Washington State in the backcourt leading to the turnover. And Bella will check in for Washington State. Bella Murakatete for Tara Wallach. Well, the Cougars right away put the pressure on and they kept Montana in the backcourt and Montana lost a couple seconds with Keeley Burton Oliver trying to ask for a foul call after Gina Markson hit the deck in the backcourt. It cost Montana getting it across the timeline. Tahina has it taken away by Hewitt. Tahina thought Murakatete was going to be there in the post. Markson's three short. G. Feller an offensive board. Baseline Burton Oliver, and she cans it. Ten first quarter points to lead the Lady Grizz, and they're up two here in the opening quarter. Washington State, three of their last three from the floor, but turnovers are last two times down. Ledger Walker, fourth three-pointer of the first quarter. She's got 12, Washington State in front. And the stellar junior for the Cougs, splashing them home from Waikato. It's 25-24, Washington State after the opening 10 minutes here on Pac-12+. Plus. Good first quarter here between these two teams. How about the hot shooting? Both at 60% or better after that first quarter. So both coaches trying to figure it out defensively here. And the threes are raining. All four of them for Washington State come from Charlize Ledger-Walker, the all-first teamer out of the Pac-12. Trevor Williams with you here from Pullman, Washington on what's a snow-covered night on the Palouse. Jared Prengruber, our producer, celebrating 15 years of service at Washington State. Congratulations to him. Handoff out on the wing for Sammy Fatkin down to the baseline. Under the cup, Murakatete did enough to deny that opportunity for Montana. Sarver starting out the second quarter for the Cougs on the floor. Tahina, pretty pass to Murakatete. Uh, great vision from the freshman, Estera Tahina. Leaving it off there for Murakatete. Tahina, who was the youngest player to ever suit up for the Kosovo women's national team. And she's been really steady for Washington State as a freshman here in the first six games this year. Cougars putting pressure on Markson. Tough shot over Matuga. And Tahina gets the board. Eyes up, finds Matuga. Tipped into the post, Mirakatete against two. Slings it to Ledger Walker and just missed on her first two point shot opportunity of the night. Cougs by three. This is their largest lead tonight. Montana led for a bulk of the opening quarter. Burton Oliver, boy, she's red hot tonight. 13 points. And she's already hit a couple three-pointers, stretching it out of the post for Montana. We're all square here in this first half. Montana going zone. Tahina finds the soft spot. And first points for Esther Tahina. Is averaging six points a contest. 
the nice find from Ledger Walker to get her open against the zone there for the bucket. G. Feller trying to find Markson on the back cut. Cougars slap it out of play. Wallach and Tedder come back for Washington State. Batuga and Sarver will get a breath. Good lineup on the floor here for WSU. Wallach who had four points in the first quarter. Pass comes into G. Feller. Has the smaller Tedder against her. Tried to work her way around. Marika Tete hauling in the rebound. That's number four. Ledger Walker got bumped by Tahina and G. Feller swipes it away. For Washington State, six turnovers here in the early going. Four for Montana. Up top, G. Feller for three, unmarked. Carmen G. Feller has three three-pointers now early. And both these teams continue to light it up from downtown. Montana five of six, Washington State four of six. Mercatete just past the hands of Wallach. And the turnover is starting to mount for Washington State a little bit here in the early going. Montana an 8-2 advantage in points off turnovers. Cougars have the paint advantage 12-8. Everything else pretty even here in the opening 13 minutes. G. Feller the turnaround a little too long. Tap to Tedder. Tedder's got eyes up. Wow, threads the needle to Ledger Walker. Heward with an off or with a defensive rebound. And then poked away by Tedder. The steal bounce Wallach for the bucket. Oh, a nice backcourt play by Ioana Tedder. Got in the way of that pass from Heward, just trying to lob it underhand to Markson. Nicely done for the Coog bucket. Markson gets around a screen. It's more of that rub action on the perimeter for Montana. Lady Grizz trying to get back in some room. Gets downhill against Mirka Tete. And the ball's loose after the miss. Cougars race away with it. Tedder putting it on the deck. Slings it to Ledger Walker. 14 for Charlize Ledger Walker. She forces Brian Holsinger into a timeout. Joanna Tedder, beautiful pass. And the Cougars distributing well early here for the three-point lead. We'll take the timeout as well. Great first half action tonight between the Cougs and the Lady Grizz on Pac-12+. Plus. Montana and Washington State three-point game here in the second quarter. And you know the Lady Grizz have been really good all time against the Pac-12. 55 and 61 all time against the Conference of Champions. The only program that Montana hasn't faced out of the Pac-12 is Arizona State. And historically against WSU, Montana with a great record against the Cougs. WSU hasn't won in this series in 34 years. It was a rivalry played a lot in the 80s and 90s, not so much since the turn of the century. Libby Stump trying to get it off glass. Mercatete halfway to that double-double on the rebounding side. She has nine points as well. It has been working on double-doubles back-to-back nights three of her last four games. Charlize Ledger-Walker has 14 points, finds Sarver, and Sarver shuffled the feet on the perimeter. While the Cougars have taken the lead here in the second quarter, Montana on a two-minute scoring drought here midway through the period. Montana coming off a season in which they finished tied for fourth in the Big Sky. Most wins for them in the last six years. Marks in just off the mark to Keeley Burton Oliver. You see a little Matuga talking to her Cougar teammates on the floor. That's kind of what Washington State expected, I think, from Montana. Is a really good mid-major program out of the Big Sky that's turned it around. They had a couple rough years before Brian Holsinger landed in Missoula. 
but really a talented program. A good week for Washington State against mid-majors with the win over South Dakota State on Monday, which we mentioned they won the WNIT last year. And now facing a tough regional matchup. Tedder a little long. Marks and foul coming up the floor by Tedder. And that is the first foul tonight against Washington State. It's been pretty impressive to get 15 minutes deep. They have not had one yet. Gives the Cougars a lot of options. Chief Feller to work. Wallach stops it in the post, forces a tough righty hook. Cammie Hathridge thought that Tara Wallach would have a big jump this year. Murakatete, the post moves just get sweeter and sweeter for Bella Murakatete. The native of Rwanda has 11 points for the Cougs. Five point lead is Washington State's largest. Sarver picked on an illegal screen by Carmen Gfeller, her first personal, and it turns it over back to the Kooks. Hey, you know, Cammie Etheridge talked about that, that it's what you have to be aware of. They actually called it against Gina Markson, but it seemed like it should have been high on the pick against Gfeller. Brian Holsinger thinking the same thing, but the officials say it's against Markson, her first. So the Cougars trying to add to a 6-0 run. Murakatete spinning in the lane and just missed it. Markson quick up the floor, but a little too long for Libby Stump. Stump, who's had double figures in her last two games. Markson couldn't hit her in that spot. And Stump hasn't scored yet tonight. Cougar basketball here late first half. First time in, Katarina Chineke, senior out of Greece. It's a big defensive presence for Montana last year. Danny Barch comes back for the Lady Grizz as well. Again, though, Washington State with a chance to expand a 6 0 run. They forced five Montana turnovers here over the last four minutes, the Kooks. Ledger Walker finding real estate baseline. Wallach able to chase it down, 10 to shoot. Tedder off the bounce. Overhead sling to Wallach. Three was a little long. Back get pressured by Murica Tete and she gets it right back from Tedder. Steal Murica Tete, Tedder another assist. And the Cougars making an eight nothing run. Washington State shooting 58%. They've held Montana over their last four. Six turnovers in the last four minutes. But G. Feller gets another three. Fourth three-pointer for the fifth-year senior out of Colfax. Ledger Walker trying to answer the other way with her fifth. But you bet G. Feller is enjoying playing in front of what I would guess is a pretty strong conglomerate of folks from nearby Colfax, Washington. Koenig getting it back on a handoff. Trying to get it into the post with Barch. Cougars tapped it free. Another turnover for Montana. That's number 11. Mercatete, little room. Decides to put it on the ground and took some contact coming in. Sarver tried to save it. And it's back to Montana. The officials talking to the Montana bench as well. Here with two minutes to go in the half. Both sides a little fired up. And what's been great action tonight in Pullman. Both offenses humming. Montana's shooting 86% from three. Six of seven. And then a big block by Wallach. Man, on such a defensive night, the Cougars are called for a foul out on the perimeter after Wallach absolutely denies Koenig. And she's had a couple good ones this week. She had a swat out of bounds against South Dakota State as well on a chase down play. 
Still Montana basketball after the foul. It was called on Sarver. Sarver trying to fend off Vatkin. Got it tied up. Arrow goes to the Cougs. And Washington State continues to pester Montana. Seven make it eight turnovers in the last six minutes for the Lady Grizz. And the Cougars have ratcheted it up on the defensive end. Montana was shooting 63% end of the first quarter, 48% now. But that doesn't account for all the turnovers. The Cougars are picked now on the offensive end. That's where Washington State has really hung its hat this season in non-conference play is on the defensive end with Koenig breaking it down the other direction for her second make of the night. And again, Montana, once down seven a couple minutes ago, is within a pair of points. Tedder trying to roll it off to Wallach, but airmailed it. And the Lady Grizz have a chance to even it up here nearing half. It was a one-point game after the end of the first quarter. Montana led by six at one point in quarter number one. Koenig back up high with Barch. Bounce down, G. Feller, and a big shoulder into Charlize Ledger Walker. So that is G. Feller's first. And results in turnout, turnover number 13. Cami Etheridge wants the officials to go to the monitor as well, as it kind of looked to her as G. Feller had thrown an elbow, and that's exactly what the officials will look at here to see if this is more than just a common foul in this spot. With 45 seconds left in the half and Washington State leading by two, they will go to the monitor here. A two and a half minute scoring drought for Washington State. But the officials will let the coaches on both sides here know what they are looking at as they queue it up courtside. Montana 14 of 28 from the floor. Washington State 15 of 24 or of 28 I should say. Montana has a couple more threes than the Cougs but otherwise it's been pretty even here tonight. The two teams playing well offensively they both had breakout opening quarters, 25-24 Washington State. It slowed down a little bit here in the second with a 12-11 advantage for the Cougs. And the officials zone in on this replay here as they take a look at the last offensive fell against Carmen G. Feller. And this is it. From that angle, it's a little hard to see the elbow of G. Feller, and if it got up, on Ledger Walker. They're looking for anything up above the shoulders. This Cougar guard had good position there. Kind of a frustration play, I think, there for G. Feller, trying to turn it around in the post, get the good bucket. He's already played really well tonight, leading Montana with 14 points. She and Ledger Walker have gone blow for blow here in the first half. Both have hit four three-pointers. And we'll see what the officials come out with here. In the live run of play from the angle I saw, I wondered at first if it would be more than a common foul. And they sort it out here at the table, let them know what the call is. And the officials, I think, said just a common foul, at least judging by the reactions here in the Cougar huddle. So it will be Washington State basketball off the turnover. Charlize Ledger Walker, well known as a tough player in the Pac-12. You know she loved getting the contact there on the offensive foul. We'll see if she adds to her 14 points before the break. Cougs by two. Ledger Walker to the corner. Tahina. Her three's true. Five points for Estera Tahina. 
And Montana will have one possession left here in the half. Cougars have Sarver pester it to midcourt. Five point Washington State lead, great first half. Fatkin spinning on Sarver. Back up high for Chineke. A little long, Burton Oliver fouled trying to get the offensive rebound. No bonus in play here. Tara Wallach whistled for the foul. Ula Matuga will come in defensively for Washington State here in the final five seconds of the half. And the Cougs want to make sure that Wallach doesn't pick up a third foul. That was her second. So it's going to protect her here before the half. Inbounds from Markson. And the Cougs are beat on the inbounds play by Libby Stump. Tedder will not get it off in time. And Montana trims it to a one possession game at the break. High scoring affair, two offenses that are mighty efficient tonight on the Palouse. And we head to the half, 40 to 37, Washington State. We'll break for about 15 minutes. We'll be back for second half action. This is Pac-12 non-conference hoops tonight on Pac-12+. Plus. Washington State does have a strong advantage in the post, a 20 to 12 advantage in points in the paint, and the Cougars uh, shooting well above their field and three-point percentages here tonight as well. Cougars came in 30% from three, 45% from the floor, but uh, really good numbers there for both teams offensively. Taking a look at the standouts player-wise, Charlize Ledger-Walker hit four threes back in the opening quarter for the Cougs, cooled off a little in the second period. Carmen G. Feller for Montana, kind of a similar story. She's hit four threes. A pair of those came in period number two, but it's really been the Ledger-Walker, Miracatete, and G. Feller, Burton Oliver show here tonight. So a good second half likely to come here in Pullman. As I mentioned, Montana shooting 86% from three. That's a number that you gotta believe won't hold. But the shots have been pretty wide open and the bulk of them, which we should say all of them, have come from the posts in G. Feller and Burton Oliver. Not often that you see that. Markson nearly had it poked away. Montana starting with the basketball here in the second half. Heward, who's scoreless, out to G. Feller, and she travels. 14th turnover against Montana. That's five more than the Cougars have committed. Washington State had an early advantage in points off turnovers that we were mentioning, but Montana has 10 off their nine takeaways. The Cougars with only 11 off the 14. So trying to make Montana pay, and Murakatete just pressured by Burton Oliver. So Montana survives another turnover. In the post, G. Feller, Matuga stayed straight up. Ledger Walker checking over his shoulder. Good job by G. Feller to pick up the trailer. That's a shot that Matuga loves, and Murakatete blocked by Burton Oliver. It'll still be Cougar basketball. But a couple drives stop for Murakatete here to open up the second half. Cougs will go right back to Murakatete. Had five rebounds with their 13 points in the first half. Over to Wallach out of the corner. Wallach. Back iron, Ledger Walker, offensive rebound. Goes right back to it, and that's too easy for Charlize Ledger Walker. The New Zealander with 16 points off the offensive board and score. Cougars have a 19-15 advantage on the glass. 6-4 on the offensive boards. Back into the baseline. Burton Oliver now. Six to shoot, G. Feller poked once by Tedder, and they call Tedder on second action. That's her second foul. She and Tara Wallach have two for Washington State. Lisa Kiefer on the other side for Montana with two for Lady Grizz. And that was with a low shot clock. 
Cougars wanted that defensive possession. Fatkin, long range two. Just her second score tonight. She came in averaging 14 points per game. And the Cougars, a miscommunication come in front court with the turnover back to Montana. But that's where the Cougars have succeeded in holding down Fatkin and Stump, who have combined to score 23 points a contest. They have six combined right now here in the early second half. But Burton Oliver, 13 points way above her seven per game, and G Feller, 14 points well above her five per game. One note though, G Feller had only played one full game coming into tonight. Murica Tete skying for the block. Burton Oliver altered by Ledger Walker, and she saves it to Matuga. Good defensive possession for the Cougs. Ledger Walker pulls the trigger on another three. Tedder flying for the offensive rebound and fouled by Heward. That's the hustle that Cammie Etheridge wanted to see from her team. Heward swapped out for Stump. The Cougar baseline inbound, seven and a half to go here in the third quarter. Still a three point game. A little bit of a slow start offensively to the second half for both of these teams. Tedder, ooh, too long. Matuga gets the loose ball and scores it. Four for Ula Matuga. Back to a five point Cougar lead. Largest in the first half was seven. Before Montana trimmed it to a single possession before the break. Back in driving baseline. Got the jumper, but missed long. Wallach pulls the rebound. Number two for the sophomore. Tedder calling for a screen. Instead, hands off Wallach out of the corner. Wallach turns the corner, lost the handle, tried to throw it out of there. It's taken away by Stump. One-on-one -on -one the other way, Tedder, who had two fouls, backed off it. And Stump has a third quarter bucket here, back to a one possession game. And the turnover is proving to be important. Montana forcing Washington State into its 11th. Murica Tete is at the free throw line. Jumper just rattles off. G Feller the rebound. G Feller now has four rebounds with her 14 points. Cougars trying to defend Markson with the larger Wallach and she has her second block tonight. Montana opted for speed. The Cougars opted for size and size one out for Tara Wallach sending that away. Astera Tahina comes back for Washington State. Lisa Kiefer for Montana. Marks it pressured by Ledger Walker. Only five to shoot. Ledger Walker stays in front. This will be a long shot from Markson, but it never comes. An offensive foul, legal pick for Lisa Kiefer. That is the third on Kiefer. Ledger Walker made that possession tough for Gina Markson in Montana. Wallach found Mercatete the left block. She wants to go to work on Kiefer and a nice turnaround bucket. Boy, she points right at Kiefer. Lucky she doesn't get a talking to from the officials there. Beautiful move for Mercatete. Markson a three and Markson keeps it cooking for Montana from distance. First guard to hit a three for Montana tonight, but the team's seventh. Still a one possession game. Ledger Walker came up short on the answer, but Wallach an offensive rebound. Wallach getting going on the glass here in the second half. Has a couple offensive boards for the Cougars. Tahina, hand off around the Mercatete screen. Just long stump. The little guard getting up for the big rebound and Tahina put the pressure on in the backcourt. But Stump got away from it. Markson will pull it back. 
G. Feller hits the floor. Wallach throws her arms out at the side. Wants to know why there's not a flop. Stump nails the bucket. And it's 46 all here in the third quarter, halfway through. Washington State quick answer to Murica Tete. 17 for Bella Murica Tete. Great find by Charlize Ledger Walker. Good crowd trying to come alive on the defensive side. Markson having it poked away by Tahina and threw it back off Tahina's shoe. Tahina trying to get the call. Had the great initial pressure on that ball. It will be Montana basketball when we come back. A look at it here, and boy, that was missed. It was off Markson. But it'll be Montana basketball coming back 48-46 Cougs on Pac-12+. Plus. Two-point game, crowd amped up in Pullman. Four minutes to go here in the third quarter. 48-46 Washington State, it's Montana basketball. Unfortunate turn of events for the Cougars. Astera Tahina poked it away before the timeout. It was off of Gina Markson's foot, but the officials didn't see it. Murica Tete, though, intercepts the inbounds pass. Wallach saving it back to Murica Tete. Offers across to Matuga. Boy, this looks like football now. And Wallach slicing across the lane for the bucket. Good catches all around for the Cougs in the high hands. 50-46, Wazoo. Markson trying to answer quick. Merica Tete snares it away. And a foul. Ledger Walker, hard collision with Kiefer. Actually goes against Koenig. Matt Koenig, first personal foul. Charlize Ledger Walker looks all right. It'll be Cougar basketball. Ledger Walker, who's scored 16 tonight. Murica Tete leading the Cougs with 17. After the last rebound, she's at 17 and 6 here in the third quarter. Tahina. On the dribble. Murica Tete has wanted this free throw jumper. Ops to spin in the post and a travel. Change her pivot foot. It's back to Montana. 28 combined turnovers for these two teams. Both defenses, despite the good shooting percentages for both sides, when possessions haven't ended in shots, both defenses have done a good job here tonight. G. Feller trying to find a spot inside. And Matuga swiped it off G. Feller to be Cougar basketball. Turnovers to either side and back to Washington State it comes. The outstanding scoring quarter for these two teams was the first. Washington State had the 25-24 edge after the first period. Wallach, quick hands out to Tahina. Matuga with an offensive rebound. Cougs have had four of them here in the third quarter. It's getting them some extra opportunities. They've made on a couple of these tries. They're trying to make it three. Beautiful passing out to Ledger Walker. And she's got 19 points. Her fifth three-pointer of the ball game. Again, outstanding ball movement for the Cougs. Ends in a triple. Back to Washington State's largest lead of seven. Matuga comes out against Markson. It'll be 16 to shoot when Montana resets it here at the timeline. A seven nothing Washington State run. And Charlize Ledger Walker has filled up the stat line. Five assists, couple rebounds, a block shot, 19 points to lead the Cougs. Montana has half of its shot clock here this time after the Cougs poked it out of play. Markson against Murica Tete. Bella Murica Tete able to avoid the foul. Wallach was trying to gain possession. And we'll see the officials called a foul before the shot clock violation. Burton Oliver second. A 
Another strong defensive possession for the Kooks. Trying to add to a 7-0 run here over the last two and a half minutes. And the Cougars have been mauling the Lady Grizz in the paint 28-14. But right now it's long range for Charlize Ledger Walker. Six threes. That ties a career high for Ledger Walker. And Montana will take a timeout here with a buck 22 to go in the third quarter. Largest lead for the Cougs, 56-46. We're back to Pullman after this. Out of the timeout, Montana trying to hang in against Washington State, but Charlize Ledger Walker now has 22 points. Eight of them here in the third quarter, and she's hit six threes, which matches her career high. She hit six on the road at BYU last season. Just about a year removed from that mark. And she has the Cougars on a 10-0 run. That's the margin here in this game. Montana needing to stop the bleeding here in the third quarter. G. Feller had it poked out. Murakatete dove to save it to Sarver. Another turnover forced by the Cougs. Wallach, Ledger Walker, hot potato back to Murakatete, who now has 19. And a sixth assist for Charlize Ledger Walker tonight. 12-0 Coug run and Markson pressured by Sarver. And here in this third quarter, Montana getting doubled up by the Cougs and just kind of running out of some gas here in the third. We're seeing Washington State clamp down on defense like they did at the end of the first half. Big part of it, Sammy Fatkin who had the basketball there only has four points. She averages nearly 14 a game. Marks in. Matuga stays up. Sarver jumps the pass and dives to keep it alive to Matuga. Boy, that's a high effort play, but then Markson returns the favor for the Lady Grizz. Shot clock dead here at the end of the third quarter. Yeah, these teams all over the floor. It's an important non-conference game in this regional rivalry. Ledger Walker forcing Markson out to the timeline. One second left. Has to hoist over Murakatete. And the third quarter ends a 12-0 run for Washington State. That's the margin here in Pullman. The Cougars leaders, Ledger Walker and Murakatete, explode in the third quarter. And we're back with the fourth next here on Pac-12 Plus. Big third quarter, Charlize Ledger Walker. She has matched her career high with six three-pointers. And she's also dished out six assists here for the Cougs tonight. She's blocked shots. She's grabbed a couple rebounds. She's done it all for Washington State. And a 12-0 run to end the third quarter has the Cougs up 12 here in the fourth. To the baseline, Matuga through to Wallach in the corner. And just a little long. Matuga, though, an offensive rebound. Put back just a little short. Maybe the third time will be the charm on this possession for Washington State. Comes up to Ledger Walker, back through Matuga. In to Murakatete. She draws a crowd. Underhand to Matuga for three. And the Cougars can't cash out on three opportunities that time down the floor. We'll see if Montana can stop this 12-0 run here. First possession down in the fourth quarter. Cougars instead force another turnover. That's number 20 for Montana. And Montana, their leading scorers, Burton Oliver and G. Feller, were held scoreless in the third quarter. Big reason the Cougars took an 18-9 advantage in the period. Ledger Walker just had her career best rattle out. Wallach follows it with an offensive board and score. That's now five games this season, nine on the career for Tara Wallach into double figures. She has 10, 14 nothing Cougar run. G Feller tries a three. That's Long Iron and Murakatete. Rebound number seven. Both she and Ula Matuga have seven boards. Matuga trying to get some space on the baseline. 
Boy, Ledger Walker so close last time down to her career best seventh three-pointer. Mercatete decides to put it on the deck and finishes with a nice right-handed lay in 21 for the senior. 16-0 Cougar run. And Koenig tapped from behind by Sarver. Second foul on Grace Sarver. But this 16-0 run for Washington State has flipped the script in this ball game. In the second half, the Cougars have held Montana to just four of 13 shooting, one of four from three. It's for a team that was shooting 86% from three at the half and 63% from the floor. Montana's brought in Katarina Chineke. Only six to shoot. Koenig backing it off on Tahina. Three to shoot now. Murakatete hedges it off. And the shot clock expires on Danny Barch. 21st turnover forced by WSU. A busy second half. And the Cougars trying to add to a 16-0 run. Tedder, the handoff. Ledger Walker nearly lost it. Gets back to work along the baseline. Tedder's three. Just off. Cougars have done this tonight without any scoring from Joanna Tedder. Koenig front court puts a head down. And Ledger Walker, boy, nearly had her second block. It's a foul called against the Cougs. We'll see free throws for Matt Koenig. Koenig a six of 10 free throw shooter for Montana. Trying to stop a 16 nothing run. Koenig hitting the first up to five points. That does stop the Cougar run at the free throw line. And Koenig gets them both. So Matt Koenig up to six points. Cougars here on the offensive end. Ledger, Walker, and Murakatete have combined 43 of the Cougars, 62. Murakatete is one off a career high. Ledger Walker looking that way, stutter steps, and an offensive called against Charlize Ledger Walker. Officials said she threw a hand to get a little space. So now two fouls against her, and Montana has to kick it into high gear with six and a half to play tonight on the Palouse. Koenig over Matuga, a little long. Matuga pulls down her eighth rebound. Tedder's running the floor. Tedder lost the handle. The ledger walker gets it back. Sahina on the dribble. Head fake. Bounce Matuga. Matuga splits a couple defenders. And boy, Charlize thought about the three. Her next is a career best seven. Tedder with five to shoot. Finds Matuga out of the corner. And that rattles off. Matuga, 0 of 2 from 3 tonight. Quick outlet, and it's up to Chineke for the bucket. First points. Montana's put a couple buckets together. Brian Holsinger, the former Cougar assistant, under the previous staff of June Doherty, trying to urge his Lady Grizz to get a stop, but Tedder comes up with her big first points of the night. A straight on three for Joanna Tedder. Washington State as a team. Hitting their eighth three-pointer of the night. 15-point Cougar lead. Stump, that arcing three, last touch. By Montana. I don't know, they'll say last off of, yeah, last off of Montana. Both sides were lingering down there. Montana briefly brought in Alex Parag. 
Freshman from Highlands Ranch, Colorado. But she checks out. Now Heward, Markson, Koenig, Fatkin, and Burton Oliver, the five on the floor from Montana. Sarver and Wallach, along with Tedder, Mirakatete, Tahina for the Cougars. Mirakatete in the post. Uh, out of block by Burton Oliver out of bounds. And I'll take us with timeout on the floor as well. Final 457 when we come back. The Cougars use a 16-0 run between the third and fourth quarters. They lead by 15 here tonight in Pullman. 15-point lead for Washington State. 457 to play tonight. Charlize Ledger Walker sneaking back into the Cougar bench there. Has been outstanding. Six three-pointers, 22 points. Leads all scorers tonight. Tara Wallach off the nicely drawn up inbounds play. But the Cougars get a second opportunity after the miss. Only one point better we should mention for Ledger Walker than Murica Tete, who's point away from tying a career high. Joanna Tetter starting to heat up here in the fourth quarter. A pair of threes after she was scoreless in the early going. Koenig trying to get around Murica Tete on the offensive end. It's pinballing around. Murica Tete ties it up. Arrow will be with Montana. Cougars had a 16-0 run between the third and fourth quarters. Now a 6-0 run here over the last minute and change. Really amped it up defensively in the second half. Montana cooled off from the floor. And there's another turnover forced, number 22. Tedder that time pawing it out. And that's been the story in these great games this year for Washington State. It's closing in on a six and one start. Merca Tete just missed the career high there. It'll stay with the Cougs. Washington State five and one to start for the third consecutive year. 40th all-time meeting against Montana. Cougs trying to win their first against the Lady Grizz since December 21st, 1988. Tedder with a third three-pointer in the fourth quarter. She just might get into double figures and the Cougs are 16 and four on her career when she does. Washington State tapping it out. Montana back on the offensive end. 71-50 Cougs, a 9-0 run. And Wazoo has just poured it on here late. Really good second half. Cougars outscoring Montana 31-13 since the intermission. And Tedder will be whistled for the foul. Ledger Walker and for the first time Emma Nan Curvis for the Cougars. Bella Mercatete, Tara Wallach will head back to the bench. If that's it for Mercatete, she'll fall a point shy of her career high. Which she did match earlier this year against Troy with 22 points. Fatkin fouled on the way to the basket. And she will have free throws. Grace Sarver picks up her third foul. Charlize Ledger Walker with the 22 points. Long ways to go to her career high in scoring, but in terms of three-point makes, if she hits one more, it's a career best. Sammy Fatkin is up to five points with the made free throw. It'll stay there at five. Cougs by 20, same margin. They beat the reigning WNIT champs South Dakota State by earlier this week. Ledger Walker fouled on that shot. Matt Koenig second. Couple free throws here for Charlize to add to her 22. Ledger Walker hits that first free throw. Career high was 35 against San Francisco earlier this year. 
He's got 24 for the Cougs. Washington State right about at its scoring average. And they've held Montana below what their opponents have popped this year, 57 a game for opponents of the Cougars. They've been a really good defense so far in non-conference play. Montana, real big bright spot on offense in the first half, but it cooled off here at half number two. Tedder, another takeaway. A bucket would put her into double figures and she's fouled, has a chance to get there at the free throw line. Montana's been without a field goal over these last three minutes. To highlight how it's cooled off from the floor for the Lady Grizz. Tedder's first free throw off the mark. Needs one point to get to 10. She's right at her scoring average for the year right now, nine, but has been averaging just a hair under 14 here these last three games. Does get to 10 points all in the fourth quarter. And the Cougars bring in Kira Gardner, freshman from Raymond, Washington, the Gatorade Player of the Year last year in the state of Washington, 1,906 high school points for Gardner. And ball tapped out of play. Some folks on Montana's side played with Gardner in the Washington, Oregon High School All-Star Game last year. Pass off the mark on the inbounds, nearly taken away by Sarver. Koenig. Now back in against Tahina. Man, the Cougar guards have been really tough on her tonight. Astera Tahina's played tremendous defense, as has Charlize Ledger-Walker, and Joanna Tedder as well coming up with a couple big steals here in the second half. Tahina pops a three. Eight points now for Tahina. Two threes in this game. And the Cougars nearly forced another turnover in the backcourt. 23 Montana turnovers, only 14 for the Cougs. And you know, you talk defensively, if you add Grace Sarver in that mix for Washington State, really the guards have been tremendous. 30-second timeout for Montana, so we'll keep it right here with 2.19 to go. As we mentioned, Montana has a tough stretch coming up. Their next four opponents are 20 and six on the year. They have to take on Grand Canyon next in Missoula, who's five and one to open the year, and just played to an eight point loss to ASU 80 to 72. The Cougars, they'll have Portland next up on Wednesday on the road. And then next Sunday, they get the Washington Huskies in Seattle. 11 three-pointers for the Kooks tonight. Six of them from Charlize Ledger-Walker, who you see there. And 11 threes matches the season high for the Kooks. They had it against Loyola Marymount. And Montana basketball here in the final two minutes and change. Stump on the drive, kicks corner. G. Feller rainbows a three. First points of the second half for G. Feller after 14 in the first half. Her and Burton Oliver combined for 27 in the first half for Montana. They've had three cents just on that G. Feller three. Tahina staying with the miss, pulls it back out for WSU. Sarver back to work. Wallach trying to find Nan Curvis. Burton Oliver, no, Nan Curvis. The officials say last to touch it. So Montana basketball here in the final minute and a half. Washington State on the verge of its 11th consecutive non-conference home win. They'll be 18 and four at home in non-conference play in the Cami Etheridge era which has spanned these five seasons now. Etheridge inked to a contract extension back in October. It'll keep her on the Palouse through 2028. Under the bucket, basket missed by Parag. Tahina, boy, fighting on the floor, gets a tie up and the arrow will go to the Cougs. Gotta like the effort from the freshman, Astera Tahina who's been all over the floor. She's been pestering folks on defense, scores eight points tonight as well. 
and really playing beyond her years. And I think you can definitely chalk it up to some of that international experience that she had in Kosovo. Really impressive how she has started her Washington State career. Ooh, tough pass to Gardner in the corner. Tahina again trying to fight for it, was the last to touch it. Gardner kind of laughing. Eyes lit up for Kira Gardner, the freshman, who has already scored her first career collegiate points, was trying to get the three ball there. Would have been the second of her college career. In the lane shot off for Stump, pulled down by Gardner. Likely the last offensive possession for the Cougars here. Tahina again the handoff, has a chance to get into double figures. Instead trying to find Sarver. Gardner will size it up with an Ancurvis screen. And Gardner misses left this time. Montana quick sling up to Chineke. Finds a trailer for three in Libby Stump. It'll get the Grizz up to 57 points, but Washington State, for the second time this week, gonna pull in a 20-point win on the Palouse. They did it with suffocating defense in the second half, forced 23 turnovers and a big run late third quarter, 16-0. Help the Cougars seal it behind 24 from Charlize Ledger Walker and 21 from Bella Murakatete to send this Cougar crowd home happy tonight on the Palouse. First win for the Cougs in 34 years over Montana with his regional rivalry renewed and a successful one tonight. 77 57, Cougs win it for Jared Prengruber, the rest of our Pac 12 Plus crew. This is Trevor Williams saying so long tonight from Beasley Coliseum. Cougs a winner, 77-57.